You're about to witness the perfection of the Marty Stew. Oh, I can't wait. The Marty Stew. The Marty Stew. It's the demon wolf dragon king Marty Stew. Marty Stew. He's even got his own theme song. Oh, oh. stranger. There they are. Where? Those Shit, guys? I think they saw us. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, crap, my pants. <laughs> what? And then the fight started. He crapped his pants. <laughs> he, wait a minute. He crapped my pants. Oh, God. Why did he have to die? He was so funny. All right, well, I want my clothes back, and I'm going to have them immediately laundered. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with the Rude Man. And now that we have our uniforms all cleaned up, um, let's see if we can uh, change our look a little bit. And perhaps um, give some uniforms to these girls. Let's see what we have. Items. What did we get for them, guys? We got uh, Courier's Fatigues, Courier's Flat Cap. That must be from uh, Chip, or whatever his name was. Um, we've got Gunslinger's Ranger's Hat, Gunslinger Ranger's Outfit, Gunslinger's Ranger's Scarf, the Gunslinger's Water Skin, the Heavy Duster and Heavy Duster Hat. And we got some T45D power armor. Is that what Veronica's wearing? What is she wearing? Let's see. Is that the T49 you've got on there? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yes. How'd you guess? Yes, she's already got it. Okay. Wow, look at all the crap she's got. What are you doing with all that stuff, Veronica? Did I give that to you? Okay, so let's see. Um, let's take a look at what Willow looks like. Okay, so this is what Willow looks like with the fatigues. I kind of left her with her cowboy hat, though. I got we've got kind of a cowboy theme going here. Um, uh, the belt buckle looks kind of cowboy, but the rest of it looks kind of military. So let's take a look and see what else we've got. Okay, so that's what the gunslinger outfit looks like on her. Although, although uh, she still kept her hat. But it makes her pretty wide through the shoulders, doesn't it? I think that's a man's outfit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not too cool. Let's, um, let's get out of that. All right, so I've decided that Willow already looks uh, kind of cowboy. We'll just leave her the way she is, and let's take a look at Cass. Okay, so that's the heavy duster and the heavy hat. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So let's leave that for now. And, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I've got anything that I can wear that's different than what I already have. Let's try the ranger's hat. And the scarf and water skin. And then... Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Look, my hands are cut off. Why is that? That's kind of weird. All right, let's let's take a look here. Let's see. Give me that. Let's deal. Yeah, I know. Let me have that duster. And I'll trade you. Hmm. 
that one. Oh, I'm naked. Imagine that. Okay, what does she look like now? Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Let me see what that other thing looks like on me. Uh, the heavy duster. And... Yeah. Okay, let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. I like that kind of cowboy. Yeah, we'll keep this. We'll keep this. You can keep that. But you need some sunglasses. And I thought I Let's had... Let's see what you got. I thought I had two sets of authority glasses. Pretty sure I do. Oh, yeah. I got three sets of them. So we'll give her some authority glasses. There you go, girl. And then I'll put my glasses back on. Okay, and how about you, sister? Do you uh, need some sunglasses and a cowboy hat? Ooh, got something good for me? Well, Is it a dress? No, come on, Veronica. Let's give you some authority glasses. And I wonder what you look like in the courier's flat cap. Oh, she looked cute. There you go. You can keep that. Boone, I have nothing for you. Sorry. Okay. That's good enough for government work. Let's get on with it. Um, first of all, let's see what we need to do in the old journal. Uh, quests. Data. What are we looking at here? Uh, return the grills to Steve. We could do that. I can make you care. We need to take Veronica. We need to talk to Mr. House and take care of Benny. And I don't know if I want to take the girls to do that. So I think I'm going to make a solo trip. Sorry, girls and, and Boone. Oh, Sitting tight. I'll be right here. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Where's, uh, where's my robot? Where's Eddie? Or do the Mormon gal still have him? Alright, well, let's get out of here. I'm gonna get out and... Bear close gates up for safety. Okay, let's head to Prim. Talk to Steve, Bison Steve. Tell him we've got those grills. back in Prim. Let's head up to Bison Steve's. Looking good. Lucky Casino. We need to fix that roller coaster though. That'd be cool. Looking a little bit different. Hey there. Hey there. Oh, I thought that was a girl. There he is. You drug them grills all the way here by yourself? Yeah, I'm tough. Sure did. Why, well, hell, fire, and tarnation, that's a hell of a job. A hell of a job, partner. Can you smell the caps rolling in? <laughs> what yeah, baby, like? high rollers, that's what we is. Well, it's going to be soon, anyhow. Listen, the furniture came today and it's all set up. Lights is on. And with these grills, the steakhouse is about ready to go, too. Hey, go have yourself a drink, smoke, 
get laid, get drunk, maybe even take a nap for a spell. You deserve it. I'll have some more details for the final push when you come back. Let's get ready for the grand opening. Oh, uh, by the way, I got an office set up now if you want to use it. The lockers are safe to stash your gear in, so make yourself at home. Cool. So, we have lockers. Quest completed. We can rebuild him. Oh, so that's it? Is that it? Well, let's talk to him again. Oh, grand opening. All right. Hot damn. We's almost got this puppy. House broke. Can you feel it? Well, hell yeah, man. Now that you found them grills, the steakhouse will be ready to go in no time. We'll still have to stock the joint with booze, smokes, and food, but she'll be ready. Hey, this was going to be a surprise, but Anna found a whole stash of casino gear that Buck had for the Lucky and was sending it to us. It's full of casino gear. Chips, cards, dice, everything we need all in one little package. Cool. Even had some custom felt for the tables. Ooh, all right. But that delivery boy got bushwhacked by ghouls not oh. far from here and barely escaped with his life. Oh, of course he did. Uh, let me guess. The ghouls ran off with the casino gear. <laughs> yep. You're getting good at this, ain't you? Yeah. Don't know what those zombies want with that stuff, though, but just think. 20,000 lucky casino chips by Paulson. These are the real McCoy, brother, not that cheap plastic horse shit. Custom felt, new dice, everything. God, we gotta get that foot locker back. We? We've gotta get it back? Alright, don't sweat it. Nope, and I ain't doubting you now. There's a big old crater up there just a glowing. If there's any ghouls around here, that's sure enough where they'd be at. Careful though, they might be some of them Henri sort up yonder. I heard tell they can throw globs of radioactive goo at you. Oh, just like monkeys in a zoo, huh? Oh. Okay. Well, how do we get in here? That way. Hey I I think I know where he's talking. I think it's up behind Randall's shack up there, where all those ghouls are always glowing in the dark. But I think I need to go talk to Mr. House and check in on old Benny. So, let's jump in the old truck and head to Vegas. Gonna do a hunk of hunk of burning love up there. On Benny's head. Alrighty, let's see. Let's head up to the caravan, I guess. Alrighty, let's uh, let's head in this east entrance. I think, I think that's closer to where we need to go. Maybe, maybe not. I think it is though. Hey, good job, doing a good job. Now, why is it saying this? I've been in this door before. He does that sometimes. Every once in a while, he'll tell me I'm discovering my uh, my van. Don't shoot me. All right, we're gonna be heading north. Is this north? No, this is north. This is south. We're heading where? What? Uh? Oh, what do you want? What's wrong with you guys? Are you crazy? Can't you see I'm a gunslinger? Come at me with a straight razor. You're an idiot. Alright, I'm lost. I thought I knew where I was, but I don't think I do. Um, oh, I know where I'm at. There's the Mormon place. Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Is that right? Maybe. Maybe not. We need to go this way. I'm lost. I guess I could look at the map, couldn't I? Yeah, I need to go back down this way, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, there's the blue place. All right, Come I to know. Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Yeah, I need to go this way. We need to go in and talk to the kings, too. 
We haven't been in there yet. I wonder if she gets cold out there. Put some clothes on. Welcome to the strip. They don't clean their streets up very good, do they? Because those are the guys that got killed last time we was here. Hey, look. Mr. Kang. Hey, brother. How you doing? What's up? Nothing. What's up? I'm surprised I didn't get attacked again. Hey there. Hi there. How are you? Hi. This is not the courier you're looking for. All right, there's the lucky 38. Let's go see what this is all about. I, I'm a little leery about going in here. Is that Victor? It is. Hey, Victor. How the hell you doing, robot? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. Enjoy your visit. Whatever. I don't think I'm going to do that, but... What the hell? All right, now what? How do we get in this place? Through the door, imagine that. And what have we here? Well, this is a pretty nice casino. Where's all the people? I don't see anything but robots. Hey guys, what's shaking? Uh, rawhide cowboy hat. It didn't say we couldn't steal it. What we got behind the... Ooh, what's that stuff? Are those uh, tokens? I mean, not tokens. What do they call those? Chips? And I don't mean tater chips. Ooh. An empty canteen. I'm thirsty. Let's have some whiskey. Empty. Everything's empty. Oh, not that one. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Oh, well. Whatever. Okay, so what else do we have? What's up the stairs? Money. Pre-war money, but money all the same. There's some more. I'd like some more. Oh my god. We hit the jackpot. Whoa. What are those? Golden gloves. And a book. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla and Nuka Cola. We hit the jackpot. Uh, empty. There's an empty. What's in here? Gecko steak and maize. What is this? Locked and it's hard. Leave. <laughs> okay. Doesn't want us using that, I guess. Alrighty. What else we got around here? Empty. No go. No go. Ooh. What's this place? More money. Money, money. What's with the eyeglasses? What do you do with eyeglasses, I wonder? I should probably take them, I guess. Uh, bottle caps. Take those. How do you get in there? Whoa. They're all empty. Everything's empty. Kind of one of them seeds. Well, what's over here? A bottle cap. Well, we'll take it. A rich place like this, and there's one bottle cap. Cash register. Pay more money. Cigarettes. A safe. 
Ooh. Oh, man. Look at all the drugs. Oh, we'll take it all. Uh, more drugs. Jeez. Pre-war relaxed wear. And all kinds of money. And I don't have any idea what we'd ever do with that pre-war money. But there it is. Can we use any of these terminals? Nope. Another suitcase. Sexy sleepwear. I wonder if the girls can wear that. All right, let's um, get up and see this guy, I guess. Pre-war book. Well, let's check the other side while we're dinking around. None. Empty. Okay, I guess there's no time like the present. Hi. Guess we go up the elevator? Where to, partner? How'd you get in here? Penthouse. Penthouse floor. What's that, your girlfriend there, Victor? Hello? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Um, who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Um, how does that work? And I don't know if I want to know. What can you tell me about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Well, tell me about the three families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Um, okay. Tell me about the casinos. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Mm, yeah, I feel real special. Tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Mm. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Mm, been there, done that. Uh, let's talk about something else. Anything you like, sugar. And quit calling me sugar. Uh, what's this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Uh, that doesn't sound good because I came in and I'm hoping I'll be able to get back out. What kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Okay, where'd you get that crazy voice? What's with the snow globe collection? I haven't seen a snow globe connection. I can't talk. What's with the snow globe collection? There we go. Not many people know this. But Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. Hmm. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Hmm, I might have to try. Uh, can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, Sugar, he's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Oh, he must be, like, next thing to, to slice bread or something. Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it. 
But that counts in my book. <laughs> Single-handed, huh? Uh, okay, I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Uh, so you're a copy of a dead woman? What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Okay, I think I've heard enough. I don't really think of, I, don't, I don't really want to think about that. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, hmm? It was a simple question. Anything you like, Sugar? Uh, I think that's it. I don't know if I want to give him one of my snow globes. All right, what do we do now? You got anything new to say, Victor? What floor, partner? Oh, you're just the bellboy, huh? Uh, I'll just stay here. All right, what's your... Whoa. Welcome to the Vegas Strip. Okay, that must be Mr. House, huh? Well, at least a picture of him. What in the world? So is this just go in a big circle? Now let's go down here before we go talk to Mr. House. Oh, there goes my whiskey. Hey, Mr. House, can I steal some of your whiskey? Oh, they're empty. Figures. You'd think Cass has been here or something. Drank all the whiskey. All right, I don't see anything down here. But let's go back up. And let's... Enjoy all the Vegas Strip has to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notice. Enter. Entrance for employees only. Okay. Grimy pair of business clothes, huh? What's that? What is that? Is that just a button? Ooh, what's here? Nothing. Terminal. Can't use it. Uh, what's the bed for? Queen size bed. And it wants me to sleep in it. I don't think so. All right, let's go down and talk to the man, I guess. Wow, I don't really know if he's a man. I don't know what the hell he is. Well, he's heavily guarded. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? <laughs> Good question. Um, well, I've never seen anything like this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the Strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. All right, why the VIP treatment? I'm just curious. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. i just been trying to live a good life. So, all right, let's get down to business then. What do you want? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. You talking about that chip? Um, wait a minute. I might ask some more questions. What did you wish to know? Well, tell me about Benny. That's what I'm looking for. What's the platinum chip? Well, it wasn't mine. I was just delivering it. Um, well, since I'm talking about you, who, who exactly are you? 
I am Robert Edwin House, president, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. Now, now how could that I be? I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Yeah, you appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. How could that be? The lifespan you're claiming is impossible, except for ghouls and super mutants. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. Well, isn't that special? So, how have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. Hmm. How'd you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. So it's all about the money, huh? What else did you want to know? Well... Um... Why don't you tell me about the factions vying in for New Vegas? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. Alright, so it's back what down to business. What else did you want to know? Well, no, I, I guess that's it. But let's... I, I want to find Benny. Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Got, a, got out of hand, did he? Um... Yeah, why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Uh... You know, Victor could have stopped him. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Yeah. Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. Oh, really? When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. So, all right, I guess. Uh, Why did you need a protege, anyway? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless. But I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. What? Okay, are you some kind of vampire or something? You need a daytime guy that's still breathing? I don't, I don't understand it. So why did Benny betray you if he had the opportunity to, uh, to take over? I have to think that he found out about the Platinum Chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Alright, so it all comes down to the Platinum Chip again. What else did you want to know? Yeah, I want to know about the Platinum Chip. It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. Great. 
Okay, the more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. Um, I have a right to know uh, if the chip's so valuable. Why use a single courier? Why don't you send your robots? What happens to if the chip uh, is never lost? All right, so uh, yeah, let's try this one. The more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Okay. If the chip's so valuable, why'd you just use one single courier? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I understand that, I guess. Ah. <sighs> Why didn't, why didn't you send robots into the tops to arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. How does he not know that? I don't get that. Uh, well, I might as well ask the question. It's the only one left. I have a right to know about the chip. That's simply not true. Yeah, I didn't think so. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it dearly. Oh, to develop that me chip, getting shot I spent for a it? sum of U.S. dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Oh, God. What else did you want to know? All right. How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards. Except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Chairman, are your employees, don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The Chairman share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Okay. What if I want to take a diplomatic approach? I don't want to take a diplomatic approach. I want to pay him back for shooting me. Any ideas how I can catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Okay. Well, let's ask the question. Say I want to be a diplomat about it, which I don't. i just been curious what he's going to say. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Hmm. All right. What else did you want to know? What terms are you offering? What's in it for me? I've already been shot over this stupid chip to begin with. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? I don't know if it's worth the money. A thousand caps, I accept you, accept your terms. Uh, no, 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 I, I think it's worth more. Is that an attempt at humor? Uh, I guess it is. I've always taken business negotiations very seriously. 
I advise you to do the same. All right, I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Um, I think that's probably it. Until then. <sighs> Guy's kind of creepy. Alright. Let's mosey on, I guess. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to need the girls. Be honest. The Lucky 38 is not open to the general public. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you. Yeah, stuff it. I'm not quite sure whether I can use the girls or not for this. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Well, isn't that special? Let's go take a look. Stay here, casino, presidential suite, cocktail lounge. Yeah, let's take a look at the suite. High roller suite. Uh, which door? Upgrade the suite? Upgrade it to what? Well, let's take a look at it first. Alright, so this is kind of okay. Uh, reading glasses. Terminal. Does it work? Doesn't appear to. What are the other doors, Benny? Oh, this is cool. I got my own pool table. It's a little... Oh, teddy bear. Willow might like that. Binoculars. Future weapons today. Alright, so I guess the suite's bigger than I thought. What we got here? Ew, bottle caps. Can't take them though, I guess, huh? Alright, let's take a look at the other one. What's this? kitchen. Wow. Big place. Lots of cigarettes. Alright. Well, we'll take a closer look the next time. We'll bring the girls up here. What's this? Nothing. Just decorations. Alrighty. This is a big place. Just a little, um... Uh... Ooh, a safe. I don't know how safe it is. Oh, this is where the girls can stay. What's that? An iron. So, uh, Willow's been looking for a private place for us to meet. Maybe we can do it here. If I even think that's a good idea, which I'm not sure if I do. And, oh, a bathroom that's halfway clean. Look at that. Amazing. We didn't just drink out of that, did we? Oh, God darn it. Can we take a bath? The TV in here. Well, it is presidential suite. What's the upgrade, though? What is that? Do I dare? Well, I'll let the girl see it first. Where to, partner? Well, let's get the hell out of here. That's what I think. Cocktail lounge? What's the cocktail lounge? Ooh. Got any whiskey? Speaking of whiskey, drink a little. Wow, this is cool. This is cool. Does this thing rotate? That'd be neat. It's like the space needle. 
Need to clean the windows though. Pretty dirty. Can't see anything. Alrighty, let's just look around because that chick robot said there was a globe missing. There, look at there. Let's take it. All right. Limited edition that was. Have we went all the way around already? is kind of a mess, isn't it? Just uh, kind of stains everywhere. I don't know what kind of stains those are. Hey, we can sit on a bench. Cool. <laughs> well, it's kind of lonely up here, though. I, I'm getting a little bit creeped out at this place. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go down to the casino. Yeah, let's go. I want to get out of here. Please creeping me out. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Who's Ambassador Crocker? Why me? Ambassador Crocker's note, I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you've learned enough in your travels to know that the new California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in beneficent mission in the Mojave a General and New Vegas in particular. It is in addition a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests whether for reasons patriotic or material. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I stand ready to receive you and your at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic. Dennis Crocker <laughs> Ambassador Extraordinary and, whoa, Plenipotentiary, Department of State, New California Republic. This guy's stuffed with himself, isn't he? Well, all right. So, we've got things to do and places to go. We need to go find out about Benny. We need to, I guess, there's no reason why we shouldn't meet with this NCR guy. Man, we need to go back and get the girl, so, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do first.